Now, what I dug was you got fired from Nick Cannon, but they had to bring you back because the people said they got to bring you back. That was the strangest, weirdest ever. I still don't know who was mad, what they was mad about, what happened. Really? They, I didn't, bro, well, even when they brought me back, I didn't talk to nobody. I didn't go have a meeting with the higher ups. I just, I don't know. Did you know do you know why you. you got that, why they got rid of you? No. So so how, hold on. How did they get rid of it? Is like they just don't call you for the new season, or somebody called you and said, uh, "We appreciate what you've done, but uh, Bruh, next." Not they tried to do this so Hollywood. Ooh. Oh, that sounds right. With, you yeah. know what I mean? Oh, come on, like, man. That sounds right. Come on now. Yeah. Speak well, on. you know we, we, we talking. About you hit me talking about when well, we going in another it's direction. direction. It's always another direction. Like, what? Y'all going in another direction? Y'all don't want me to go with y'all? <laughs> right. <laughs> Type you, of is this? You like? I'm easy directed. <laughs> right, like I'm, I'm not. That's the thing about it. That's I don't give a fuck about that though. You shouldn't. Don't bring me around if I can't say. Oh, I like that. And then you know this is one of those controlled environments where mm -hmm. they have people who come on there and say, "Look, up. Right. Don't say right. about the steal in the shoes." Right. You know, like mm -hmm. be on the blogs and. Sure. And you just thinking it's just blogs. Mm -hmm. Not knowing that these really be sensitive about that. They be like, hey, guys, can we go? Yeah, uh, you remember they said the shoe? Let's not bring that up at all. I like, did he steal them or not? Right, right. At all. Oh. Don't right. mention <laughs> shoes. Don't <laughs> look at shoes. Don't <laughs> tie your shoe. Damn. Yeah. Right, right. I feel you. I feel you. But I still. You remind me of myself a little bit on that, man. I can be with the team, but I can't be with somebody owning the team. Nah, bro. I'm yeah, not, I'm yeah. not that. Because I feel like you you're going to stifle me. No, we're gonna fall out. Yeah, you're gonna stifle me. Because I'm I'm the type of who I'm just not gonna do everything. Mm -hmm. I can work with you, I can't work for you. Can't do that. Mm -hmm. Right, that's what I'm saying. I'm not gonna do everything. Right. I'm not. I don't give a what it is. Like, right. you can hire me for anything. I'm not doing everything. Right. Because that's, that's not how it works. Right. I'm, I'm right. the cashier, man. I'm not cleaning up the roof. I'm not right. being in the bathroom. Bitch, I'm cashier, that's it. Damn. I'm staying in what I know. Damn. That's me. Staying in your lane. Stayed in my lane, bro. But let me ask you this then. Um, did 85 South come out of the, the situation experience with, um, you know, Nick Cannon show? No. Why not? Did you say, I don't want to be working for somebody ever again, mm -mm. so let me start my own No, okay, because I never thought that the 85 South show would become the 85 South show. Like, I always felt like it could, but I didn't know that it would. You know okay. what I'm saying? Because okay. it's like, I never looked at it. I never thought that I could go out there and create something that could give me more visibility, pay, more pay, more opportunities, like I can literally get on 85 South show and do whatever the fuck I want to do. And people fuck with it because I've gotten, I've gained their trust and I've fed them enough content where right. they like, we want to see you just try some shit. We want to see if you could produce a show or create a show or write a show. So it really just gave me my own structure, my mm. own, my own platform, right. my own launch pad. Right, right, where right. Where I can really like, Create and write and, sure. and, and do my thing and sure. let the and know and get input and feedback. Sure, sure. Where sure. it don't have to just be, oh, well, we can't shoot the pilot because we got to wait on. Right. We got to wait on Comedy Central to send over the budget. Right. Oh, uh, well, we're going to redo it when we get some people behind us. F all that. Right. Y'all want right. to create shit that's so dope by myself. I want somebody to look at it and be like, man, you did this by yourself. Right. What you gonna do if we give you this check? There you go. You may not want them to be anticipating. Oh, so how did it come together? How did it come together? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cause even on the time you got fired, wasn't it? No. Oh, okay. That was uh -huh. before that. Oh, okay. That's the craziest. Sh I don't know what the f that. Had. Like I probably could deal with it better if somebody could just be like, when you said you said that somebody was a bitch and we just right. Ah, we just didn't like that <laughs> and we had to let you go, my nigga. We saw it, but right. nothing. It ain't. So who's to say that I haven't done the exact same multiple times that got me fired? I don't know. Right. They didn't tell they me. What's well, Hollywood? Hollywood won't tell you. Bro, that's so strange. We just go a different direction. That's all they I'm going to tell the people who are watching this right now. That's your Man, if you, right ever, if you ever get fired and they want to hire you back, don't ever go back. You Damn. will never respect that place. Because mm. now you, now I'm just there just like, you, you might have had something to do with me Hell getting fired. No. Hell no. It just everything triggered me now. I'm like, you mean good morning? Don't be speaking to me. Woo. You see that speak to That's me true. every day. I don't That's trust true. that. That's true. She speak to me every day and she know I don't f with her like that. I feel you. It make it just make you it put you on high alert, man. Damn. I ain't, and I don't even I mean I guess once I find out who to be mad at, I'ma do it. But 
people bring up Nick, like Nick Virgil. I'll be like, no, after further investigation, I really don't even think he had shit to do with it. So it's some more people. It wasn't him. But then that's again where people say, because your name is on it, don't mean you own it. No, nah, you they not because paying attention the to the story. They trying to use some that happens every day in the real world to try to use it against me. But then I have to go ask Nick, say, look, Nick. And Nick say, no, don't, don't fire my man. That's what Nick I'm saying. You giving him too much credit. That's what I'm just saying. Look, so he don't own it. Yeah, no, no, no. $200 on the show. You speeding past hell. what I'm saying. You speeding past it. All right. Look at what All I'm right, saying. Let me slow down. Let me slow it down. After I got fired. Okay. He got fired too. Oh, It took the whole show off the air. Damn right. I didn't think about that. So somebody fired both of y'all. Thank you. <laughs> Damn. Thank you. And you probably, see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah so yeah. if he hired me and put me on the show, mm -hmm. how in the f can somebody else fire me? Yeah, you, you feel that. Exactly. And then I looked up. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Oh, there it is. Everybody was fired. Damn. It was, it was wild outside. And they might have just been trying to protect me now that I look. I don't know. There's so many different, you know what I'm saying, parallel universes that this could have been. I don't know. But it ain't. I ain't mad at nobody. It happens. I've been fired before. I I'm, know I'm not a good employee. Damn. I'm not trying to be. Damn. Yeah. You're trying to be fucking... good in your lane. I get what you're saying. Yeah. So explain to me how did not 80, 85 South come, to, come together? How did 85 come South together? came together. DC was was uh, doing an interview on Vine way back in the day. And okay. they was asking him what comedians that he f with. And he was like, I don't really f with comedians, but he liked my comedies. I f with Carlos. Okay. And then we linked up and I told him, I said, bruh, funny as you are, like you funny to me. I don't know what the f me and you supposed to put together. But if we get together and we do something, this shit gonna go crazy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a song or an album or whatever the f it is. So both of y'all can rap too. Yeah. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? So it was like me and you supposed to do something. So we linked up and we started just like formulating and putting it together. And then once we got the hang of like what we kind of start shaping the idea and we start rotating it around just to see what fits, what works. How what was y'all doing? What was y'all doing? Just we sitting were, in the house? We sitting in foolish? the studio recording. Oh, oh recording. Just so. okay. having conversations and, okay. and, and building from there. Okay. And then we we shaped it out and we started taking that to like little clubs little spots and just doing like little live shows and you know just tweaking the formula like and then seeing like okay this is something this could be something and this is y'all been on stage together sometimes too talking yeah. crazy oh nice you see, we had we tried a few different formats where we would all go out and do a few minutes of stand up and then we all come out and do a set together and then, you know, it's just like, we just tried out different things mm -hmm. until we, we figured out what was going to work. And all, hold on, you went from two to all. So that was you about definitely Clayton English? Yeah, well, or I mean, that's what I'm, you know how it is when right. you're doing a show. It could just, it could be, somebody could come up and say, Pierre, we want you to do 50 dates. He go, all the money. You figure out the details. Oh, wow. It was one of those situations. Okay. It's like, we creating in the comedy lane. Mm -hmm. Who's around? Who's available? Like, who wants to be a part of this? Mm -hmm. And that's what really made it dope. Cause mm -hmm. there's a lot of collaboration and people pitching in and you know putting us on the different ideas and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But at the core of the '85 South show, it was it's just our launch pad. Okay, so then you brought in y'all two. Then you saw Chico, and you just you known Chico. I mean, you said, well, the you thing know. about it is, we were all me, Chico, and DC. We were always like hanging out together, like on the Wildin' Out and the Wildin' Out tour and all that. Sh oh, okay. So all it was right. just like, bro, right. we would just be up talking. Right. I was like, man, somebody should be recording this. And then once nice. we actually started recording it and shaping the show, Chico living, he was living, he's still living in North Carolina, so uh -huh. it's like, he's not there on as many episodes as me in DC, but anytime he's here, right, he'll get on. Or, you know, live sure. shows, it's, it's nothing. Sure, sure. And then you all brought your boy Clayton in. I like yeah, I, mean, I have to. Times. I told you, me and Clayton literally yeah. rode, rode to the, together. Twisted Taco together. And I, I like, <laughs> like that. I can respect the fact y'all bring folks in. Sometimes, my, you know, the OGs don't do that. Um, I feel like that's what kind of stifled the game a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Is because I feel like with, especially, you know, your generation mm -hmm, of, of sure. comedian, mm -hmm. everybody wants to be the star by themselves. Yeah, yeah, no yeah, matter how yeah. big of a star that they were, mm -hmm. nobody else could be a star around them. Turn me up a little bit. Turn me up a little bit. If you like that clip, hit the subscribe button or the notification bell. Boom.
In fact, why don't you hit both of them?